What's up guys, it's Angel. If you clicked on this video, I'm guessing you like hollow and you're thinking, what the hell is the burnishing technique and how do I get the ultimate hollow glitter nails? But before we get into the tutorial, I'd like to show you some things. Here are a couple of swatch sticks and sorry they're so messy, these are what I was practicing on. To the left, to the left. Stupid angel. This is how your nails would look if you applied polish and while the polish was still wet You dip them in the glitter or you sprinkled the glitter on now that looks pretty cool It kind of looks like crushed diamonds But on the right is the burnishing technique You apply the glitter using a tool that I'm going to show you later and the tool allows the glitter to lay flat since the glitter pieces are flat and not all at crazy angles sticking every which way, the light reflects in the same direction, giving more of a linear hollow rainbow versus a scattered hollow rainbow like on the left. You can probably see the effect a little better in these still photos. The glitter pieces don't overlap and they lay flush to the nail and they're actually very smooth to the touch, unlike the other sprinkled on glitter or when you're applying glitter polish, how it can be really rough and it just soaks up top coat. This is only one layer of top coat here. I know, right? And I swear I'm going to get into the tutorial, but I have one more thing to tell you. I have a confession. Now, some of you may unsubscribe after hearing this, but my favorite type of polish is not hollow. <laughs> A lot of people just assume that it is, but my fave polish finish is actually cream finish. I know, I know, but hey, it's my fave. And don't get me wrong, I love hollow polishes and I own a ton of them. Hollow is probably my second fave finish for polish. Since you guys have been asking me to do more hollow nail art looks, I'm going to be doing a new video series that will focus on hollow polishes and hollow nail art products. And I'm going to call it how to hollow or how to win at hollow. I don't know what to call it yet, but get excited because it's going to be good. Whoo! Sorry, not sorry about the long intro. So anyways, here is the first tutorial in the new hollow series. Yay! Okay, that was lame. Since removing glitter from your nails is such a bitch, I went with a peel off base coat. This is Yellow Stopper, which you can get it at Sally's, and I also found it on Amazon. I'll link that down below. In case I missed some spots with the glitter, I went with a hollow base coat, just a basic silver. This is Bundle Monster Buy Me Diamonds, and yeah, it's pretty basic hollow. I only did one coat, and it's pretty sheer at one coat, but it's perfectly opaque at two coats. And here is the glitter I used, Centauri Silver. I mean, I don't know, I guess I didn't realize Centaurs were holographic. I got this glitter from Amazon. You can buy it as a single. I actually bought it in a set. I will also link the set down below because it had tons of other pretty things in it. To apply the glitter, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. or ELF if you fancy glitter eyeshadow applicator. They unfortunately don't make this anymore. I think they stopped making it like a couple years ago, but Luckily, some nail art companies are starting to release silicone nail art tools, so I found a few different versions and I linked them down below. To get the glitter to stick to the nail, I applied another coat of Yellow Stopper base coat. Now, once dry, Yellow Stopper tends to be pretty tacky, so it will grip onto that glitter. I also used this before stamping to help the stamping adhere to the nail better. And now we're gonna dive into our hollow glitter sandbox. Oh my God, wouldn't that be so fun, hollow sand? And you really wanna let your nail dry before you start applying the glitter. I probably let it dry for 15 or 20 minutes, otherwise you're just going to like smudge the polish off with the applicator. So once it's dry and the yellow stopper is still tacky, you just pack on that glitter. You just kind of like rub it on, pat it on, stroke it down, whoa, stroke it down now. And you want to keep going to your hollow glitter sandbox and picking up a little more glitter at a time and looking for those bald spots and just trying to fill them in. You don't need to use a lot of pressure with the tool. You just kind of got to lightly pat it over the nail. If you use too much, you're definitely going to scrape up that polish. So just a little pressure. Once you got good glitter coverage, you could also use the silicone applicator to scrape off any excess glitter. And trust me, when I say excess glitter, I mean, I found this stuff 
in some crevices. That's all I'm gonna say. This glitter got everywhere. To make sure that glitter was really attached and nice and smooth, I lightly rubbed my finger over the nail and I was like so shocked at how smooth this was because usually when you deal with glitter, it's like so rough. And just for fun here, I'm applying the glitter to my middle nail really, really fast. And wowza, look at that rainbow. Here they are, all the glitter attached with no top coat. So smooth. And then I just used a mini orange stick to scrape off the excess Hello Glitter pieces that got stuck in the crevices. Geez, I like to wear crevices today. I have glitter in my skin crevasses. I honestly don't know why anybody follows me. Once I had all the excess glitter off, it was time to add some TC. I used my fave HK Girl Quick Dry Top Coat and I was so surprised I only needed one layer. I was shocked. I know I keep saying it, but I can't get over it. And that's it, people. Now you probably thought I was gonna do some nail art over this. I did too. I had plans on stamping over this, but then I got finished and I was like, I love this so much, I'm just gonna leave this naked hollow. Maybe I'm overreacting, but I think this was like so cool. And in person, it was so rainbowy. Like I can't even, I couldn't capture it with my camera. It was just, it was insane. And I know some of you are probably like, this technique has been around for a while, but I've only seen it done on gel nails. So I thought it was pretty cool that I figured out a way to use it with regular nail polish, pat on the back angel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you're looking forward to my new how to hollow series. And if you aren't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at twy underscore star. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. I told myself I wasn't gonna get emotional, but this bitch, this ring nail, she's always my favorite nail. I do nothing but good things to her. <laughs> and this is how she treats me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying over here. I'm sorry guys. Sometimes.